presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it. Well, at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally, which is pretty tough sometimes. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 110, NASDAQ down 134, SP's off 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $23.10, trading at 1958 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $23.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 71 cents, $72.45 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading 113.07. The 30 year off full point plus 12 ticks at 126.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 39 ticks, made its way back, rejected lower price. We're at 104086. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 140, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, we'll get over to the S&P. First, we'll look at the SPY. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so high to low out in the SPY out here today. We had a high of 429, a low of 426. We're at 426 right now. So we didn't take out at the high. You had light volume. This is still a sideways move. Intraday. Now we take a look at this intraday. What you're going to see, we had a little volatility intraday, which is pretty sweet. Intraday we had out here. Bottom line, we got up to, let's see, did it hit the... We hit 43.04. Yeah, let's check this out. This is amazing, actually. So the high on Monday was 43.05. We hit 43.04.75, and they sold it off. That being said, let's just take a look at, you don't have a high volume low here. See, that's, that's, so that's saying, okay, the bottom line, you know, yeah, this will bounce around a little, but you don't have a lot of selling down here. Now, NDX 100 is a different ballgame. We take a look at the Qs. What you have with the Qs, you have two different things going on with the Qs. We were talking about the aspect that these price spreads were getting so small, which they were, and the volume was contracting. Now you get an expansion of volume, 51 million. That being said, however, you're still going into 72. Now, it's possible we do that 72. We'll see how that shakes out. With us, we had made a high with 47. You can see what's happening there. So. That's pulling back, and it has volume on the pullback. We go intraday and take a look at the NQs. We pull this up. Now, this does have a high volume low at uh, 14,339. So uh, that's the low. So this low is going to get tested, man. You got... That's uh, how many contracts we got there. We got 35, uh, 15,000 contracts, 15,890 uh, contracts. So that wants to get tested. We'll see what's going to, we'll, you know, break that apart, but that's going to get tested. We go into the note and bond market, folks. Note and bond market out here. You had the 10-year note trade down to 113.01. Right now you're trading 113.08. And you're, you're, you're trading into, I believe it's Monday. Let me see if it's Monday. No, no, it's last week. 
And you are trading this out with lighter volume. We're trade, we, we have 1.3 million contracts traded to 2 million contracts. The low there was 112.29. We hit 113. So my take is that we're still going higher price, lower yield. Let's go look at the 30 year. The 30 year, 30 year always moves a lot more than the 10. There's no doubt about that. That's just how it goes. Let me see if I got this right. A, there we go. We take a look at the 30 year. 30 has 258,000 contracts. This is going to be going into a monster number, though. I can just tell by looking at it, yeah. And you're going to 404. So, bottom line, now the 30 year hasn't rejected lower price yet, but bottom line, that's lower price, lighter volume, and the 10 has rejected price, lower price, the 30 hasn't done it yet. And King Dollar. If we look, if we look at King Dollar, if you see when this turn was happening in the marketplace, what you did have is that we had the King Dollar trading down at the 103,661. That baby turned, when that baby started turning, which was like 10 o'clock this morning, you know, market bottom line didn't like it. Um, right now, we had the low of 103,661, and we're at 104,095. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract. You know, this is this is now this is really intriguing because, and this was a heads up this morning, folks, when. The dollar was down about 600, well, I think 500 ticks, okay? The gold contract wasn't moving. That was a heads up. The gold contract, I, I believe, was up $3, okay? That's a heads up. This is building cause, my take, for lower price. We have a confirmed ABC structure down to the 1902 level. I suspect that's where it's going. Let's see what we're going against right now. So we've done 180,000 contracts here. You're going against, well, it's going to have to do a lot more than that because we're going against 264. That last low is 264. Now, it what would be cool is if we would go hit that number, but it's not going to hit that number right now. That number's another $9 lower. Um, you know, so it's always dangerous. Then it closes, it lows, then it opens up. It's easy to get out ten dollars in the gold market. That's for sure. But that's the way that that hey, baby is set up. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. We have, uh, let's go, well, actually, let's go into the NDX 100 first, because that's the one that stock getting hit this morning. And as usual, where the NDX goes, the market goes. You had um, winners out here. We, you had uh, Warner Brothers was up 8.5%. Microchip Technologies up 4.5%. Sirius Satellite up 3 Taken away from it, Datadog was down 7.5%. Lucent the Car Company was down 6.5%. Uh, Zscaler was off 5.5%. Uh, and to it was off 5.1. So let's go see M V O L N E. What do we got here? Volume wise, you're at 528 on the NYSE right now. And if we take a look at the composite, you're at 4.1. The composite is going to do some volume. We're at 4.1 right now. Composite is going to do over 5 billion. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials. Uh, down 151. Nasdaq's up 100. S&P's are down 15. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is trading up 108. We got the Nasdaq down 149. Now, uh, S&Ps are off uh, 13. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And tomorrow, folks, okay, our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing these workshops for us. Uh, the first one is going to be on the S&P. This is going to start at 4 in the afternoon, go to 6. It's going to be two hours, uh, the first hour and a half. He's going to be go teaching uh, all his different indicators and the next half hour is going to be uh, questions and answers. So come on over to our website. You can sign up right now. The uh, archive, the live workshop is $295. It will be on your uh, page for as long as you want to go over it. And this is something that you will want to go over, folks, because the bottom line uh, is that these are very unique uh, what would uh, <laughs> I'm losing it, man. I love it. They're very, very unique um, indicators that he uses. And yes, they're in the marketplace, but the bottom line, they're not used as our man, Mr. Tim Ord, uses them. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, yeah, thanks for having me on again. Absolutely. Um, actually, just to let you know, we're up over so far, we're not even quite halfway through the year yet. Uh, but uh, uh, we're up over. Uh, well, as of yesterday's close, I was up uh, ten point two seven percent, ten point so low over ten percent so far this year. So, if that tracker continues, you know, I'd like to hit twenty. We'll see. But anyhow, chart and that's one, pretty. That's pretty. That, that's literally, you know, climbing the wall of worry, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, a lot of people, you know, kind of been, you know, fighting this rally. And yes. uh, there's really no need to. And actually, there's a good indicator to kind of figure out if the uh, market's kind of climbing that wall of worry, I guess. When the market doesn't have a wall of worry um, and there's no fear in the market, that's usually when things can turn ugly in a hurry. Uh, mm -hmm. But the VIX kind of kind of keeps you uh, in the trend of the market. Usually when VIX is above 17, you can have a 
uh, kind of a wishy-washy market, a trading market like we had over the last, uh, since last May, the market went up, went down, went up, went down. Okay. Building a trading range. And finally, now, we're below 17 on, on the VIX. Yes, and I have your chart up, back, Tim. It, uh, pardon? I also have your chart up. Okay, sure. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, chart number one, if you look at the bottom of the page there, the reason I put the monthlies up is it, 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 you can go back further in time. This chart goes back to 2016 uh, uh, or end of 15, anyhow. I tried to point out when the trend is below uh, 17, you get a trending market. If you notice in 2016 and 2017, in general, that trend on the monthly time frame stayed below uh, 17. And the market virtually went straight up for two yes. years. I mean, yes. very little correction going on. And I identified that uh, in a kind of pink area at the bottom there. I see right it. Now, yeah. The yeah, the, the, the VIX right now, well, this is a couple hours ago, but it's 14. It's around 14 right now. And we're starting to get into that minus or a 17 and below area. And if we stay in there, there's a good chance we can probably trend again. Because uh, the market goes through stages. It goes through a trading range, builds a cause for the next move. The next cause for the next move is a trending market. And we had a trading range, you know, over a year, you know, basically from last May to this May. The market really didn't do anything, but it goes sideways. And now we should enter into a trending mode. And to identify that trending mode is a uh, a consistent reading below 17 on the VIX. So long as it's below 17, chances are the market's going to just head higher. Not every day is going to be an up day, but in general, the market's going to work higher. And the VIX will start going up before the top actually happens. And um, uh, we can discuss that on the next chart if you want. I okay, and you know what, what I just did, Tim, too? I put the VIX chart up, and you can see the dramatic break. I mean, the last three yeah. weeks, we just went from 2081 to 1389, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, man. yeah. okay. Yeah. And it's so, still trending down. So long as that VIX is, is below 17 or even trending down, now, I think today we hit a two-and-a-half-year low in the VIX. Okay. Uh, so this mark, this market is probably just going to keep marching higher back up to the old highs at a minimum. But, you know, flip flip to the next chart. I have it. And and the bottom window is the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Uh, the only reason I do that ratio, if you put the VIX in the uh, – anyhow – if you just put the VIX, it'll be just inverse of this chart you see below. But if you put the SPX VIX ratio with it, then it inverts it up. So it makes it easier to read. You can see where the divergence happened. Yes. And if you look in uh, 2018, you know, the VIX went right down really hard right before the top, if you can kind of see it there. And yep. if you look in, the, in the, uh, 2020, that's kind of a pink area I pointed out there. I see those two pink areas, yes. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, if you notice, that the S&Ps are making higher highs, and the VIX ratio made lower highs. Uh, same thing happened in the, uh, of 2021 going into uh, January 2022. The market made higher highs, and that VIX ratio made lower highs. So the VIX goes up before the market tops out. And right now, we've got the VIX going straight up along with the market. So that's a bullish divergence. That's kind of the, the VIX leads the S&Ps. So as long as the, the VIX is going down and the S&Ps are going up, everything's fine. If the VIX is going up and the S&P is going up, then that's when trouble can happen. It can happen like a day or two, but if it starts showing a divergence over like a week, uh, time frame, okay. then the market's heading for trouble. So this should identify wherever this next top comes in, which in my opinion could be substantially higher, is when both the VIX and the SPX is going up. And the most likely place that could happen is probably back at the uh, January 2022 highs up around that 470 area. I don't know if that could be a double top or not. I don't know. We may pass right through it. It's too soon to say what's going to happen there. But that'd be the minimum upside target. So, but but again, uh, the SPs go up, 
and the VIX goes up, if that happens on a weekly time frame, then you're probably looking at an eight minute term top, at least a top that you want to think about shorting. And Similar folks, if you top, want to understand had, you know, these great ratios, the different tools that Tim uses after you know all these years, because I'm sure you know one of these days, Tim, we're gonna I want to talk to you on the air for about a half hour because I know how long and how many charts you have to look at in order to get to this conclusion, which is really cool, man. Um, yeah. And folks, the, the bottom line is that you're gonna get Tim's experience of the last 40 to 50 years, and he's only 25. <laughs> we wish, he's right? only 25. Yeah. I know, man. Yeah. Come there on over go. to our website, folks. Go. It's tomorrow afternoon, four to six. If you can't make it live, folks, it's gonna be archived so you can check it out. Tim, have a great one, safe one. I look forward to the workshop tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Inn. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 115, NASDAQ's down 149, SPs are off 12 and a half. And you know, it's great that we got that debt ceiling done, and it almost looks like that we might have been luckier than we probably thought, um, because you got Speaker McCarthy out here today. Um, his quote was that he was blindsided. Now, he, he's, he's trying to put a bill through in his own house, and let's see what this did. Um, a blockade against legislation by House Republican hardline is dragged on for the second day Wednesday, underscoring a rift with the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy following his backing of a compromise to avert the U.S. default. Um, Tuesday, Mark, the, check this out. This is the first time, this is, not, this is not even about the vote 
whether it's good or bad, folks. So check this out, what this is about. Tuesday marked the first time in more than 20 years a speaker has been unable to muster the votes for a procedural step to begin debate on a, on a vote. <laughs> it's like pretty wild, man. You know what's interesting about this is that I, when, I remember when Boehner, first Boehner, you know, quit. Then, um, who was the next one that quit? Um, you know, I, I just never, I never realized it was as that as tough as it was. That's that's the real bottom line. Because it because it seemed like okay, you know, things seemed to you know move along, um, but uh, bottom line is that not anymore. That's not even close. So we'll see where that whole thing's going to shake out. But it doesn't sound too good that anything's going to come out of the House of Representatives. And that's hey, it is what it is. Um, let's go take a look at the big dogs out here because the big dogs in the nasdaq okay um you know they that's why you see that nasdaq the ndx was up 80 and now it's down a couple hundred so if we take a look at nvidia nvidia's off uh eight and a half dollars 377 and you know that gap's gonna get filled this is gonna get really interesting i mean you know so we got a small expansion of volume out here nothing heavy we go to Amazon. Amazon got smoked. Well, they all do. They all did. They all have some volume, actually. Look at Amazon. Amazon's down five and a half dollars, 68 million shares. Now, that being said, you're going into 96 million at one third at 121.50, and we're at 121.34 right now. So you can see how this price and volume works. The bottom line is that yeah, it looks bad, but guess what? You know, Amazon in a month just went from 101 to, you know. 127. We go to Google, we take a look at Google. Yep. Look at that move on Google. Holy cow. Now, that's this is a bearish engulfing if you want to see a bearish engulfing. If you're into candlestick charting, that's a good one. You went from 129 to 122. Microsoft. That's an expansion of volume, 28 million, you know. Now, 28 million right now, we're going into 43, though. You can see how this works. So I suspect what this is is just a run-of-the-mill pullback inside of those NDX. And I can see why, you know, listen, you know, intraday, when these things, the, the levels, the fastness of the move intraday was definitely fast and furious. The GDX, let's go take a look at the gold equities. We take a look at this GDX out here. Okay, so the GDX now, this is what it did. So watch this. GDX tries to get to higher price at 32.23, fails, comes down, and you get an expansion of volume. So, yeah, this thing, this thing wants lower price. So this is this is all once again going to be all about that good old U.S. dollar in general. The thing that was weird. And I was ex explaining this on the first upgrade, I mean, um, sector this morning, folks, was the aspect of, I mean, this afternoon, is that gold was up $3 when the dollar was down 500 ticks. That's very unusual. That's, and you can see what happens. And I'd love to know, like, how does that actually work, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It's like, okay, how does the market know? And what happened there is that, watch this, we go over to the Canadian dollar. What also moved everything around, folks, is that the Canadian dollar, they went up on the interest rate structure today. And so you can see what happened here. So watch this. At 10 o'clock, this would actually move down markets. At 10 o'clock, the Canadian dollar went from a buck 33 to 133.73. You know, it, it just took off like a rocket ship. And you know, the news there was that they went up a quarter point. Yeah, they, they raised their rates to 4.75. Ending, now this is what's in, interesting here, particularly because of where we're standing right now. The Bank of Canada defied expectations by restarting its interest rate tightening campaign, citing an overheated economy. Pol Policymakers made, uh, led by the governor, Macklem raised the overnight lending rate to 4.75 Wednesday, the highest since uh, 2001. So we'll see where this whole thing goes. The thing that's intriguing is that if you do go to 
the how the home builders folks okay this i look at this this morning i'm saying to myself this is a total mind blower there's no doubt man you go to we go to toll brothers right you know and what I, what I mean by a mind blower is that we're in this high interest rate environment and toll brothers this is at all time highs man you know it's like okay you know we we certainly you know the first high that was generated out here was 7561 we traded down to 39, and we're right back to 74.24. Blanar is the same way. They're all the same way. So it's going to be intriguing to watch. They, you know, what are they telling us? That's the real bottom line. Ah, is this just a big double top? <laughs> That's the other side of this. Because what did happen in 2007 is that they never made a double top. They almost did, but they didn't. You know, the difference here, what I like, what I like actually is that on the monthly basis, we had volume last month up at these levels. So the real kick is going to be is that if we did top out on rates, the market is going to recognize it in about a second. And the market might have already actually recognized it. And, you know, bottom line, that's saying, okay, you know, because what does happen is this picture, the ratio of going from a seven to a seven and a quarter mortgage to a five and a half goes exponential. I was talking to a couple bankers um, right in St. Pete, and they were telling me that five and a half, folks, is the sweet spot. And what they mean specifically is this, and this was from when we just had gone from six, when it, was, it hit six and a half, when I pull back to five and a half, the amount of people that wanted, wanted new mortgages, refinance, all of the above exploded topside, which makes sense, by the way, because the, the reality is, is that depending on how long you've been around, a five and a half or even a six and a half is not that bad. A five and a half is definitely not bad. If you told us 10 years ago that you're going to get a five and a half, it's like, okay, that's awesome, man, right? You know, so... You know, I think that's when it first started hitting, because I think I got a couple houses that are out there at least 10 years. I'm at 4.75. Dow, Dow Industrial's up 99, Nasdaq's down 168, S&P's off 15. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 91. NASDAQ is off 177. S&Ps are uh, down 17. Let's go. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, NQs. we got to go into the NQs for a second because this is where these high volume lows. And you'll see it not only got tested, it just blew by, by it, right by it. Yep. There we go. And it has volume again. So now, okay, this is going to get interesting now because this is an ABC down. Watch this now for tomorrow morning. Okay, so we have, let's set this up so all your future traders out there can take a look at this. 14,509 is your A. Your B is... Uh, 14,341. So you got a 168A to B. You see 14,408. Yeah, you get another 100 points down. 14,000, uh, well, no, 80 points down. 14,240. You can see what happened here. See, we broke the B. You broke the B right here. Here's, here's, uh, here's the setup. This is just a small intraday one, but I don't expect we're going to get there today. But this is when these things are really helpful, folks, because you can understand we broke the B right there. That's what we broke it. See that volume spike? You're breaking the B. These ABCs, whether they're down or up, and if we pull back, now watch this. It's not, it's not a big deal, but you got 14,240, and... 251 is the last swing low. So it's going to try to get into that big bar tomorrow morning. That's how that sets up. Let's just go into the E-mini and take a look and see if we got anything there. And you can see the, the divergence is there for sure. Oh, no, E-mini. Whoops. No, e mini held. And see, the difference was the e mini did not have a high volume low either. That's what's going on. Didn't have that, wasn't a high volume low. So, you know, these, it's a little divergence. Let's go, let's go over to the uh, IWM because we had yesterday IWM broke topside. Higher again today with volume. Yeah, this is, a, this is a valid break. Big time. Look at that break, huh? Wow. I mean, in five trading days, the IWM has gone from 172 to 187. And there's, there's, there's the rotation. There's no doubt about it. KRE. It's going to be really intriguing. It would blow my mind if the small caps could ever catch up with the market. That would be, like, insane. But we saw it happen um, a couple years ago. You know, KRE, it's got a little juice underneath it. And that's the banking sector, of course. And, you know, you still have plenty of folks out there. What's going on right now, folks, is they get this big conference going on, a Bloomberg conference. So you have all these market pros 
you know, out there right now. Let's see, where is the conference? I'm not quite sure where the conference is. Maybe it's in New York. But you have a lot of different market pros out there saying a lot of different things. Like Dalio's out there, Ray Dalio, he's thinking that this is the beginning of a late cycle debt crisis. And what that means is that you have stubbornly high inflation with elevated interest rates. We're beginning of a late big cycle debt crisis where you are producing too much debt and you have a shortage of buyers. We'll see about that. I, I can understand it because I can understand the aspect of, you know, they, we know that the treasury is going to be out there. But there's one trillion, right now, there's one trillion dollars in cash, folks, in money markets. So there's a lot of money on the side, the sidelines if it decides to come in. Um, you have, uh, let's see, let's see a couple of the quotes out here. We have, um, the guy from Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, he was talking about the aspect of uh, the SEC, which was changing their tone last year when they were speaking with the company. You know, he said they were answering questions, and then all of a sudden they just went dead. Now, what's interesting about Coinbase, right, is that they, he was saying, hey, listen, man, we trade 200 assets, and they only went after them on um, 13. Yeah, on 13 assets. They trade 200 assets on their platform. They're going after 13. You know, it's a shame. I was listening to the um, interview on Bloomberg with Brian Armstrong. And this is the thing that drives me crazy sometimes that you can't get a follow-up question because this is the thing that I would love to know, particularly also on Brian Armstrong. He was talking about the aspect that they had the stable coin, okay, USD, and, you know, dollar for dollar, it's the whole bit. And then they were talking about, they, they don't, they call interest folks rewards. And they, I suspect they do that because of the SEC. So instead of interest, they claim rewards, okay? But it, it is, in fact, interest. And they were asking him flat out, you know, bottom line, well, what happens if you have a run? Well, he says, well, we can't have a run because we are not a bank, number one, and it's not fractional. We don't do fractional banking. So fractional banking, of course, is that it's legal for our U.S. banks to take in a dollar and lend out 10. And what Armstrong was saying that, no, we don't do anything. A dollar, a dollar's there. Except, he wasn't saying except, but this is what I wish the, the interview had asked them, that those rewards, that interest, where does that interest come from? That interest has to come from somewhere, right? Okay, so... If you put your money in there, and he has the buck, and if you get an interest of, I don't care if it's 1%, where's the 1% come from? It's got to come from somewhere, man. And that's where the whole Ponzi scheme takes place, as far as I'm concerned, and probably the SEC, because I just don't, no one's answered that question. Well, the, the problem is, no, I haven't heard anyone ask that question yet. Where does it come from, man? Where, just where does it come from? That's kind of simple. The, um, who else is out there? They're saying... I don't understand, the agency bonds, mortgage bonds, I don't know about that, man. I just don't know about enough about that anyway. But uh, who else? Oh, Druckmiller. So listen to this. Druckmiller is out there saying that he expects to own NVIDIA for years. Let's go look at NVDA. I'm curious what he owns, though. We can see what he owns. Pull this up. Yeah, he's got a family office. We'll be under this family office. It starts with a D. Okay. Yeah, it takes too long to, to look at it. Um, you got the biggest firms out here. Look at this. Even some of the biggest firms, they, they piled in even more. Look at this. You got, uh, well, there's going to be ETFs, though. Vanguard put, put another million. Yeah, there'll be ETFs. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Tim Moore. He's going to be doing a great workshop for us tomorrow. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's up 118. NASDAQ's down 162. S&P's off 13. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And folks, up in Canada, they are having a huge problem with... They have, right now, they have 400 forest fires going. Now, check this out. The area is 9.4 million acres, which is twice the size of New Jersey, okay? Huge problem. They, you know, they had to stop planes landing in New York City today for two hours. I don't know if they still stop, but they were stopped as of 2.30 uh, this afternoon. Now, that being said, I'm gonna bring this back to the marketplace. Why? Because what happens is that you have the miners that are up there, and bottom line is that they're gonna to have to close these mines, and it's all about iron ore. So check this out. If we go over, I was looking at this, Keep your eye on Valley, because what's going to happen is that, you know, yeah, there's plenty of iron ore in Australia also, but the bottom line is that depending on how much, you know, these mines have to be closed, it'll make a difference. And I felt that Valley itself was off the lows. I mean, Valley had just gone from a price point of 19 all the way down to 12, came off that with volume. And you can pick it up a little out here today, but it's, it's an equity that you want to watch because what we, do, what we do have, those and those, the news is saying that they're still out of control in a month's away. So we'll see, you know, and this is only June, what, June 6th? Are you kidding me, man? I mean, the summer hasn't even started yet. So that's about as heavy as you get, man. I mean, that's auto airport, forget it, man. I mean, you know, the, the flights are still leaving there, you know, huge number of del delays, but they have some trouble up there. I mean, I don't even know how, how do you actually fight 
400 forest fires simultaneously, right? Oh, my God. Wild. Absolutely wild. Dow. Dow up 68. Nasdaq down 177. S&P's off 14. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Go check it out on the front page. If you can't make it live, folks, don't worry. It's going to be on your page. You can go over it as many times as you want. And this is a, a workshop that you will want to go over because... It's, it's simple, but it's sophisticated. That's the bottom line. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Wow! Look at him, folks.